Let's start off all the way up here in the front sun deck of the ship. So the deck and seating areas on the ship are really richly appointed and very nice. The recliners are super comfortable. There are always a ton of towels available. So depending upon the cruise, there are always those annoying squatters with like one flip flop on a chair that they put out at seven o'clock in the morning. So sometimes it can be tough to get a premium spot, but normally it's not too bad. We've been on this class of ship a number of times and never really struggled with that. Okay, it's bright and early here on the Celebrity Constellation. And I know you wanna see what this ship is like. And obviously kind of the very first thing we all think about in terms of cruise ships is the pool deck. So here is the pool deck behind me. Right here is the mast bar and grill. Okay, my first personal tip is coming up. Let's take a walk back here along the 11th deck, which is what we're on overlooking the pool here. Um, there's some cool artwork along the way. And then here's what the pool looks like again. Let's get back there and I'll tell you about my cool uh, first tip for you. Two quick but important timeouts along the way to that first tip. Every celebrity ship you will see has this big X on it, which stands for the Greek letter Chi or for Chandris, which is the original family which owned the cruise line. I think that's a cool tie-in. This here is obviously the sports deck where it's bright and early in the morning and there are no kids on this ship today. Nobody's out here playing. They can use this area for all different kinds of sports activity. As somebody who's been on a number of these ships, this rooftop terrace is one of my personal tips to you. There are these great seats here if you want to sit and enjoy the beautiful sun and relax. They're super comfortable. But it seems like when the pool deck is really crowded and crazy, there is always some great seating back here. Look how cool this is. Nice big couches, like cabana-like seating over there. And then they always have a little bit of a movie going on back here. All kinds of good stuff. Let's just take a look out the back. How beautiful is that, right? A big part of why we all love cruising. That's just awesome. Next stop on our adventure, Deck 10. So this is the Ocean View Cafe, which is your classic um, buffet here on board. Again, excellent food. Like to come down here late at night, get myself a pizza, something like that. Taking you back to show you the Ocean View Bar, which is just a great place to hang out at night. I'm assuming the bar isn't open now. Maybe it is for all the fun people. All right, how great is this, especially in the evening when you want to come hang out and have a nice time. Amazing with the ocean behind you. Great crowd, super cool. Hey, how are you today? Good morning, doing Actually, well. Actually, better than yesterday. Yeah, is that a very, is that a very high bar, right? Yesterday could not have been very good, right? Yeah, but you know, today is sun is shining. Beautiful. Shining. Look at the door behind me. Yep. You know, it's I'm all good. Better than yesterday. Absolutely. Ping pong, a classic. This is the spa, the full salon. They have all kinds of classes and stuff you can sign up for. Really nice equipment, great view out the front of the ship. And obviously it's a full spa. Nikki and I are planning to hit the spa for a little uh, couples massage on this trip. Definitely looking forward. They have some great relaxation zones and stuff. Really nice staff. They have all kinds of fun entertainment and stuff. Here's another great snack joint during the day. The Mast Grill, where they have like hamburgers, hot dogs, those kind of things. Great place for snacks during the course of the day. So here is the Celebrity Eye Lounge, which Celebrity is still totally wound up in their Apple world, which is always a little uh, irksome for us Android people. Speaking of Androids, you are being shown this video right now on my cell phone using a Hoheim new gimbal, which I got, which uh, if you like how smooth this video is and how this is all functioning and working, uh, there's a link below for this actual gimbal. It is super cool. This is 
the library here. Somebody actually in the library. I don't think I've ever seen anybody in one of these libraries, but there is today. All right, I'm gonna go get myself some breakfast, getting a little crowded. We'll pick up this tour tomorrow. Okay, so I stopped this tour to get a little bit of a delicious breakfast. I've always been a big fan of the Lavazza Coffee on board Celebrity Cruises, but they've moved to, I know you can't tell, maybe let me give you a little perspective other than the gimbal. Here's my hand for some perspective other than the gimbal. They've moved to like shot glass size cups of coffee, free coffee, but you're gonna have to go up and down a whole bunch of times if you want a nice glass cup of coffee. Okay, so if the casino is important to you, let's still walk through the casino. I think one of the important things over the years, we've turned them into non-smoking. About time, thank goodness. These just smell terrible because it's all the way on the interior of the ship. Obviously, lots of slot machines. You'll see up here on the right, there are also some, you know, regular playing tables, card tables. Um, we actually did pretty well this trip. Um, left with more money than we got on the ship in terms of gambling. Um, and yeah, so let's move on to the next location. Michael's Club is a perk for sweet guests. Your concierge is in here. There's a bar that's always open. They have cookies and coffees and just a great quiet place to hang out and meet. This is the Rendezvous Lounge, which obviously has a small stage where they have great entertainment in the evenings frequently. And there's just tons of seating and a nice bar. San Marco, the conventional main dining room. Let's take a quick look at that so you know what it looks like. It's a very traditional main di dining room, which I think is really very elegant and very cool. I do really love the cool glass in the back of the ship, so you're looking out, seeing the ocean go by while you're enjoying an elegant and delicious meal here in the main dining room. This is Lumine, which we absolutely love, which is only available to sweet guests, and it's one of those great perks, which almost makes it worthwhile to uh, upgrade to a suite if you could do that. The food here is amazing, service unbelievable. This is something you really need to uh, take advantage once if it's an option for you. So this is Blue, which is a specialized restaurant you have to buy an upgraded package for. It is much cleaner food, but it is delicious to try. Here's a little bit what the menu looks like. This is Cellar Masters, which is a very active place at night. It's a nice bar, great little nooks to hang out and be with your friends. Check it out. This is one of the rooms that was newly renovated a little bit. The carpeting and furnishings are all updated. This table here is a great big table to meet friends and family at. Here is Sushi on Five. Cool little restaurant. It's a premium restaurant here on the side. It is actually fully a la carte. So it's a little interesting, different style of eating here on the ship. Delicious sushi. My personal recommendation if you come here is try the genuine real wasabi. It's, it's entirely different than what you're used to at a conventional uh, sushi place. It is super cool. Here's the menu if you're curious. Okay, here is a very beautiful, very cool, kind of like little old school because it's not the newest boat, but how cool is this central atrium area? It's just beautiful, really nicely decorated. Okay, I only find this a little entertaining because this is Al Baccio here, which is pretty much my favorite place on the ship because they have cool coffees. As you know, I'm a huge coffee fan. A beautiful area to sit and relax and as you can see it is a hive of activity because everybody's looking for their morning caramel macchiato to start their day they also have great snacks and stuff here the other side here if i was going to make a little bit of a complaint about the layout here this is the gelateria which is kind of like a dessert kind of counter but it is this is the look of it 90 percent of the time i feel like this is a little bit of a wasted space either it should be full-on ice cream place or I think 
How about like a great pizza parlor here where you can get late night snacks or snacks all through the day. I think that would be awesome. Here's just a little more of a uh, beautiful area to sit and relax with your coffee. These are obviously the glass elevators, which are very, very cool. Let's see what it looks like outside today. Ooh, she's going by. Go into the Emporium here because this is what my world becomes. When my wife gets in here, when the Nikki gets in here and starts shopping, ooh, the world turns upside down. But I just wanted to share with you this cool effect which I can do with this Hoheim handheld gimbal for my camera. Okay, what do you say we do one more test of this Hoheim gimbal? Let's see how I look and how stable the image is walking down. Not looking at the camera too much because I don't want to fall down the stairs, but here is my test of stability with this Hoheim iSteady gimbal and my cell phone, no image stabilization. And I've walked down to the third floor where we have guest services, concierge, shore excursions. Let's go check that out. We're struggling with shore excursions on this particular trip because our itinerary just got changed at the last minute. Nikki's very disappointed, but this is where she comes to consult and work on new plans. And they've been great. We're on the third floor. There's a cool little seating area here. Again, nice little seating area where you can sit here, watch the ocean go by. How cool is that? I'm just gonna quickly retrace my steps on a couple things I forgot to talk about on the fourth floor, one being the Martini Lounge. How cool is this? It doesn't look like this every night, but this was the night that I went down and I thought it just looked so cool with this colored ice. The other location that I wanted to tell you about is the theater. This is what the theater looks like. Here's a little shot of the entertainment. As always on Celebrity, the entertainment is outstanding. So this is the Cuisine restaurant, which has been converted to Le Petit Chef, which is just a unique and totally entertaining dining opportunity. Let me show you a little what it looks like. realized in my walking tour that we left out the fact that number one we have a travel journal coming out the links below but number two we haven't been to the reflection lounge so let's go to the party in the reflection lounge and show everybody let's go all right let's go okay that's a wrap that is the celebrity constellation in 15 minutes or less with a couple tips i hope it was helpful i hope you enjoyed it we're going to have lots of videos actually reviewing the different restaurants we ate at. We're gonna talk about some amazing excursions that we went on, which are not unique to the Constellation, but a lot of times they are paired up with the Constellation. I hope this was helpful. If it was, please remember to give it a thumbs up and comment, when are you going on the Constellation? Where are you going on the Constellation? Be part of the conversation, let us know. Thanks a lot.